Welcome beautiful friends to this 10 minute full body, no repeat, no equipment workout. And if you're here for the 10 day challenge, today is day one and I'm so excited to have you here with me for the next 10 days. You won't need anything for today, just a nice safe and flat space for your mat. As always, you know your body best. So please take breaks and modify whenever and however you need. We're gonna be making the most of these 10 minutes today. So as soon as you're ready, take a deep breath and let's get moving. Okay, so we have 30 seconds of each exercise. We're gonna go straight from each exercise to the next, so no break. So you take a break whenever you need. All right, so we're gonna begin when you're ready in three seconds with a squat and a twist. We'll be 30 seconds there, off we go. Squatting down, twist to the side, and then straight to the other side. And for this whole 10 minute workout, the faster you move, the more reps that you take, the more difficult, the more challenging it will become. So you really get to decide how this is for you today. You can take it slow or you can really rip in, the choice is yours. Five more seconds here, then we're going into a reverse lunge with the right leg forward. One, and off we go. Step back and together or step back and through. Choice is yours, 30 seconds here. Beautiful, and keeping that upper body nice and strong and lifted as well, chest facing forward. 10 more seconds, whichever option. Two, one, and changing to the other side now. So we have six exercises standing, six exercises down on the mat, facing forward, and then the final exercises laying on our backs. So if you're thinking, oh, legs are starting to burn. Yes, indeed they are, but they're gonna get a break soon. Beautiful. We've got three more seconds. Two, one, big, nice wide squat. Come down and pulse here. Knees pressing out over the toes. Now for 10 seconds option to lift the left heel. Stay down and pulse. Again, take a break if you need. We're gonna swap over now to the other side. Whew. Beautiful, we've got five more seconds. We've got this, standing up nice and tall, shaking it out, staying low, little side steps. So really shooting out off of that leg, staying down as low as you can. 15 more seconds here. Well done. All right, so we're gonna to start to come down to the mat now. So just pushing those legs that last little bit. Everyone's favorite exercise next, a burpee. Top of the mat, hands down, step or jump back, step or jump back and up. All right, so you can add that jump if you like. You can add the push up at the bottom if you like. Whew. My one rule, keep feet wide as they step back up to the top. Well done, nearly there. Five seconds, three, two, staying in plank, mountain climbers. Knee comes into chest, keeping the shoulders stacked over the wrist. Tendency will be to, will be to press back, so stay forward. And if you like, you can start to move a little bit faster. Knee coming forward and through. A little puff in that space behind the heart. Nearly there, three, two, one. Coming down to low plank. Knees can be down or lifted. Option to stay here or to start to find that little rock forward and back. Body one, nice straight line here. The arms are about to get a break. And 10 more seconds. Draw lower belly in. And then lowering all the way down. So we're coming to some back extension. So we're either lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering, or we can start to stay up kicking through the legs. If you'd like to add the arms, opposite arm to opposite leg kicking. 
Beautiful, but we're really feeling the back of the body working here. Pointing through the toes. Knees locked out and nice and straight. Three, two, one. Hands come down. Push up, lower down, hand release. Up, down, hands come off for a second. Continuing here. So up to you, you can have your hands wider here. If you'd like to go for more of a tricep push up, hands closer. But the whole body comes off the ground in one piece. So not chest, hips, whole plank. Beautiful. And one, push back to all fours. All right, so alternating bird dog. One side to the other. And you can do this as well, just with the legs or adding in that arm. Maybe a moment to slow it down and catch the breath. After this one, we are coming to our side planks. So we have 30 seconds each side. Option to take the side plank, either on the forearm or if you prefer up on the hand, totally fine. We can take bottom knee down for support. And if you'd like to add a little twist, top arm curls under and then opens back out. Continuing here, you've just got 10 more seconds. Extra challenge, seeing if we can come to the other side without taking those knees down. Two, one, and off we go. Again, knee can come down. You can be up on the hand. We can add that top arm. Getting as much space between your hips and the mat as you can. I'm just turning around to see the timer. All right, okay, laying on your back now, legs up, arms out to the side, toe taps. Aiming to tap those toes. Your knees can be as bent as you need. Arms open out wide. Beautiful, so starting to work on our back now. We're working on our core. We know the workout is coming towards an end. Ooh. Legs straight if you can. Touching up as far towards the heels as you can. Feet down, knees bent. Keep the chest up, shoulders up, chin to chest. Tapping the outside of the ankles, working sides of the waist. Well done. Keep moving. Next up we have our Russian twists. So you can grab behind the thighs to sit up. In two, one, lifting up. All right, open the chest. Feet can be down or we can find that boat pose with the legs lifted. Choice is yours. Up higher, a little bit easier. Sitting back a little bit harder. Getting as many in as you can. We're about to lay down for our hip raises. In five, four, three, two, one. Lay down, feet down, knees bent, lift, lower. Lift and lower, 30 seconds here. Knees heading straight up to the sky, not opening out. Squeeze the glutes at the top. Well done. Lifting the hips right up to the sky. Ooh, we are so close. We have three exercises after this one. All right, sitting up, reverse tabletops. Hands can face backwards or out to the side as we start to lift the hips again and lower. So knees will come over the ankles and we really aim to also open the chest. Beautiful. If you want a little extra, we can see if we can bring those hips back and swing them through, forward and back. Five more seconds. We're gonna come back down onto our back. Diamond push up, heels together, knees out to the side. Lift and lower. Squeeze the heels, lower down. Nearly there. Beautiful, after this exercise, we're gonna come up to standing for one last round. 
and then you are done. So close. That 10 minutes has flown. Day one, nearly done. Woohoo! Three, two, one, up we come. All right, hands up, squat, tap opposite heel. Now I want you to move as fast as you can here. Beautiful, really pushing out. We've got 15 more seconds. As many as you can. 10 more seconds. Well done. We've got this, we've done it. Five, four, three, two, one. You are done. Well done. Just take the hands down. Three deep breaths. And two. And three. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you're on the challenge, I'll see you for tomorrow, day two. We've got Pilates core. And if not, I'll see you again soon. Again, thank you. Take care and bye-bye.